sliders. Maya uses sliders a lot in its UI. Uh, check out the brand shape editor, you find a lot of uh, vertical sliders by default. And if you check out the uh, attribute editor to tweak some shaders, you find a lot of horizontal sliders. So Maya uses use these sliders to control a single numeric value. Okay? And if you check out your rigs, uh, sometimes you find that rigs contain a facial panel like this. And the facial panel is just using some geometry or some curves to mimic the sliders. No matter it's a vertical sliders like this, horizontal sliders, and two-dimension sliders. So uh, you grab the slider handle and move it uh, like this. Uh, the handle will be constrained within this square range uh, to control the actual models. MGPicker Picker Studio enable you to create sliders directly into the picker file or picker node. You can create a vertical sliders like this, horizontal sliders, and two-dimensional sliders. And since these sliders are all based on graphic things, so they are fully customizable. You can customize these shapes, colors, background frames, labels, which all this make it really special and cool looking. And the way you control these sliders is pretty simple. You just grab these slider handles and left mouse button drag them. Okay. So alternative way is with this slider handle being selected, you just middle mouse button to drag in 3D view like you did to the attribute buttons. So basically, the uh, there are two attributes controlled by the slider. One is horizontal attribute and one is vertical. So when you drag in 3D view, uh, you drag horizontally to control its horizontal attribute and you drag vertically to control its vertical attributes. Okay, so let's check out how to create a slider. Uh, like creating other type of picker buttons like slide button, command button, there's many ways to create a slider. Okay, uh, so the first thing you need to do is to switch to the slider tool. Uh, the hockey is D, and you can just click and drag to create one. Uh, during the dragging, you can hold the space bar to move the sliders. Okay, and you can hold shift to constrain the size into the square size. Okay, uh, you, you end up create one default slider, and the slider hasn't uh, got any Maya attribute to be controlled to control uh, by it. And you can just double click to create the default size sliders, and the size of it should be uh, 65 by 65. And you can also copy and paste the sliders and duplicate them. Just keep in mind that when you duplicate a slider, um, you have to pick the slider itself to duplicate it. If you pick the uh, slider handles, which is essentially a just select button, uh, if you duplicate, uh, it end up only duplicate that as a select button. Okay. To assign the attribute to the slider, you just select that slider and go to the data area and just uh, say I want to assign the translate X to the horizontal attribute and translate Y to vertical attribute. So we just uh, highlight translate X and go to this button, highlight this, go to this. Now we have a slider that control the translation of the P cube. And another way to create a slider is through the tools right clicking menu. So we highlight this um, slider tool by hockey D and we right click on this area. You can see there's a at slider view Maya channel box or at slider view MG channel box. So basically basically uh, they build up slider on the uh, selection in the channel box. So uh, we select the nodes and we grab two attributes and go to this S slider view mail channel box. Okay, uh, so in this way we have a slider that control the transfer X and transfer Y of this uh, cube. Okay. So when you create the slider in this way, if you grab attributes more than two, it will just use the first two attributes you grab. Uh, you can of course, uh, grab only one attribute and create the slider button. And we will create the uh, single dimension sliders for you. 
in this way, you don't need to manually pick this attribute. Uh, you just uh, highlight two attributes or one attribute and create a slider based on them. Okay, uh, for this week, we got a facial panel. So uh, I want to embed all the facial controls within this panel into that picker. So how to do that? I just close this temp one and to add a panel, we go to the uh, add panel menu here and just add the facial panel. Okay, so I want to copy the colors here to here or we'll just activate the uh, copy paste property tool which has a hockey eye and just um, left mouse button click on this panel and copy all color and then click this to copy the color from here to here. Okay, um, we got a facial panel so now, now we are ready to uh, create all these sliders into the pickers. The first thing we need to do is prepare 3D view. Okay, for now, uh, all we need to care about is this facial control. So we use F key to jump to these uh, facial panels. So uh, we turn off this and we grab all the facial control we need to create into the uh, facial picker panel. So it's better to ensure that uh, even the control be moved, uh, it still move within this uh, visible range. Okay, so that way uh, when the when it's being created into sliders, they won't go out of this panel range. Okay, we are ready, and we go to the um, add sliders via 3D view. So with this single click, we have transfer all these. Mm, facial controls into this picker. So we are done with this creation process. We close the 3D view. Okay, so uh, it's pretty, it's too large. So maybe we, it's a good idea we uh, enlarge our facial panel a little bit. So let's tweak its size to maybe 320. Okay. Uh, if you find sometimes uh, some shapes being hidden in this invisible border, you just press F5. That will uh, re-extend the this visible range so to show all the panels. Now the next thing you need to do is to build up the mirror relationship. So we activate the mirror relationship tool, which has a hotkey M, and grab the sliders at the right side no matter it's left side or right side you just grab half of them and deselect the some uh, sliders in the middle and we uh, right click on the background frame of one sliders make sure you don't accidentally uh, right click on these handles okay so we uh, right click on these background frames and select auto assign mirror relationship so use this feature you can just um, build up mirror relationship for lots of sliders in our picker panel this feature is based on the uh, position of the sliders in this picker panel okay uh, but we still have a lot of uh, sliders haven't been built up the mirror relationship so we just build up manually um, you can click on this and then click the mirror one again to build up the mirror relationship. If you want to remove the mirror relationship, you just hold control key and you just click one of these pair to remove the mirror relationship. Okay, so we just manually create something that we uh, left here um, here. Until you has built up the middle relationship for all the sliders, okay. So uh, it's pretty handy if you already built up some mirror relationship because now we can just move them in a mirror way. It's pretty handy. And you can just grab half of them and select the middle sliders and you just uh, move them. A little bit and uh, they become really uh, symmetry in the picker view okay uh, you can use the uh, arrow key and also with the all hard key 
to move the sliders in a reflective way. Okay, it's pretty handy. Oh, we haven't built up the middle relation for this, so we just grab this, this, and this, and this. Okay, so now we are ready to go. So we probably need to uh, distribute evenly for this. It's still too large, so um, let's distribute first. And then we just go to the uh, R hockey, and we just scale them down a little bit. Okay, uh, here's our decent sliders. So we just scale them up a little bit, okay, to utilize this space fully. And we distribute them again. Okay, so we are done with all these slider of these areas. So probably we we need to distribute them evenly. Okay. And um, for this, we do the same. You got my point. Use hockey R to into the local scale mode, and distribute them evenly. Okay, uh, so for this, we just manually move them below and yeah, we, we are pretty finish, finish all this. And I think this is too short, we just scale it up. Scale it up. And for this, maybe also scale it up a little bit. And just um, align them by center and uh, even distribute them okay and we can you can just grab all the sliders and make the background color more transparent uh, where is the field color? Oh, okay it's frame color so make it more transparent okay and you can tweak the shape more to make it more decent looking um, and we still got one here we just Move it out. Okay, so we are finished this uh, facial panel controls. Let's test it out. Switch to the um, facial panel and we just grab it, grab it, grab it. Uh, you can find that there's still some axis issues since this slider goes to this direction and this goes reverse direction. We want the uh, their direction are all the same like the the old original control. So we have to tweak something further. So let's switch back to designer mode using F8 hockey, and we go to the facial panel. The first thing I need to do is to grab all these sliders and turn off its bevel attribute. So this makes the slider more flat. Uh, to me, it's more comfortable to look at. Okay, uh, so uh, what, what, what we want to do is to reverse these control directions. If the slider handle go to right side, this control should go to the right side as well. They should stay consistent. Okay, uh, so we grab this slider and go to this data area. Uh, we can see that uh, there are horizontal attribute and vertical attribute and this is the actual Maya attribute being controlled by this slider. Okay, and we have this uh, checkbox being turned on means we uh, allow the slider actual control this attribute. Okay, so if um, this attribute is invalid or this checkbox is turned off, uh, this will make this slider a single dimension slider, not a two dimension slider. Okay, and we also got the number here by default. It's a value of one. So uh, this number is actually controlling the speed that when you uh, move the slider handle how fast the actual Maya attribute being changed okay uh, its range from minus one and 
and positive one. So if I turn this horizontal attribute, since we uh, has a reverse horizontal control relationship, um, we just turn it into the minus one. So we can test this now, and if I go to uh, grab this slider handle to the left side, this control go to the left side. When we go to the right side, it go to the right side. And the vertical axis is just okay. Um, so for now, we can just grab these two sliders and move them. See uh, these controls and move with the same way of these slider handles. So using this attribute, the speed attributes, uh, they are horizontal speed and vertical speed. You can correct all these axis issues. Okay. Another thing I will mention about the sliders is uh, it also support parent links. Okay. Uh, since I've mentioned that before, uh, the slider handle is actually the uh, select button. Um, if I click on this slider handle, it will select the controls for me. So. Um, we know that uh, parent link can link two select buttons together. So we can also use the link tool here uh, with the L hockey to link these handles together. So say I want to link this to this and then go to the corners. And here we do the same. So when we switch to the preview tool, we can just double click uh, this uh, slider handle to select all these controls. We have still got one here. We haven't created a link. So we end up uh, selecting the half corner of the mouse controls. Okay. Um, I just want to mention that the slider handle also support these parent links. You can just link them together. So animator just double click on this handle to select uh, all the child controls and the control itself. Another thing I want to mention is this change command. Uh, if you go to the data area of this uh, attribute editor when you select the slider, um, there's attribute tab here and there's change command tab. You can input some codes here and the codes will be executed when the slider handle be moved and released. Okay, so if um, I grab this slide, slider handle, it won't execute the command, and I move it during the moving, uh, the command won't be executed. But when I release the mouse and the slider actual change, the attribute actual changed, the change command will be executed. Okay.